Okay, Laker engineers, uh, in this video, we are going to uh, expand on our abilities to dimension basic drawings in Inventor. We're going to practice this thing that we learned about yesterday. So chain versus datum, unidirectional, um, aligned, and things like that. You have this form from the Google Classroom, and I'm going to show you how to change things from like aligned to unidirectional, how to do datum versus chain. And the one I'm going to work with as an example is this one. So let's read what we're asked to do. We're going to make this piece first. You probably maybe have already made it in the past. We're going to turn it into an A4 size drawing that shows these, val these uh, views. And then we're going to fully dimension it. So every time you fully dimension something, it's either going to be unidirectional or aligned, datum, or chain. I'm going to let you pick those ones, but you're going to have to tell me which ones you're picking. The reason I'm picking this is I'm going to show you how to do those, but I also want to show you how to do the angular, how to get an angular dimension on here as well. So it all starts in Inventor. If I go here, here's the piece. One thing that's going to make things much easier for you is to make sure when you've made the piece or the part, the IPT, that you in fact agree what the what the front face should be. This is the front face. If for some reason the way I've made this and when I, I select front on this cube, it gives me like this view, that's going to make things a little bit more difficult when we're doing the drawing. So how could I change that? Well, mine's already okay. When I hit home, this is the front view. But what you can do is you can select one side and then go up here to the cube, right click, and say set current view as front. And that will then re redefine what the front view is. That's important because when we place this into a drawing, we want to have it already as the correct front view. Let's go ahead and do that next. So I have the piece made. And now I'm going to go ahead and make a drawing. And it brings this up. It's set uh, for something that's not printer friendly or printer paper friendly. So we're going to do a few things first. A, we're going to delete the title block. A, the ANSI, which is American National Standards Institute. We're going to delete that. And we're going to go up to Sheet. We're going to right click there. We're going to say Edit Sheet. We're going to imagine we're going to print this out on a standard piece of paper. So we set it to A4. OK. The default border, I'd suggest you can leave it there, but you also might give you some more room if you just get rid of it. We're going to make our own little title block and title uh, at the end. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and place the view. Uh, again, I hit base. I'm going to look for the piece that I want. The piece that I'm working on, I think, is 7.14. That's it. I'm going to kind of bring it down here. It's a little too small. So I'm going to change the scale, and I can play around with the scale over here. Maybe I want to set it as 2 to 1. I think that'll work. So I'm going to leave it as 2 to 1. I'm going to hit OK. And it shows me the front view. And that's why it was so important, nice, to define the front view in the IPT file. So now I'm going to place the other views. Projected. Click it. Pull it up. There's the top view. There's the isometric view. And then there is... Uh, the side view. I'm going to right click that and say create. And I think that that's okay. This is a little crowded. One of the things I can do is get that red box, right click it and do edit view. And I can change this one just by itself, the isometric, make it a little smaller. That might be a little bit better. Okay. So I have all the pieces placed. The next aspect we want to work is we want to start actually dimensioning it. Let me show you the difference between datum and chain and how simple it is to do in Inventor. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to go to annotate and we're going to do dimension. Now, the slow way to do it, but it's perfectly fine, would just be to click it, click a dimension, and then just start clicking them. You click there, pull it down, and you have to hit OK. And then keep doing it over here, pull it down, you have to hit OK, and so on and so forth. You have to hit OK. That's fine to do it that way. There's nothing wrong with it. There are some faster ways if you know what about datum and chain dimensioning. So I'm going to delete those dimensions, and I want to make sure I'm not in the dimension mode, so I'll hit Escape. I just click them, hit Shift, right click, delete. Get that guy again. Delete. So let's learn how to do datum first. So we'll do datum on this drawing here. 
So datum is baseline. Baseline is inventor's version of, of datum. I'm going to show you how this works. It's essentially, remember, datum means one singular point of data. And we're going to imagine this is our datum point, that corner down here. So we're going to make measurements from horizontally from this line, vertically from this line. So let me show you how simple it is once I have baseline selected. I'll go ahead and hit the first one. I can hit. You know what? That one's going to be a little bit different, which glitched out a little bit. I think I'm going to make it a little bit easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, dimension this top view. And again, I'm going to use datum first. I'm going to imagine I'm, I'm going to make every reference from this corner. So let's do our horizontal dimensions first. I'll click that starting line, this one, this one, this one, this one. Now I'm going to right click, continue, and I'm going to bring it down here, click it and then hit enter and it's there. So everything has been measured from this line. Now I need to do the vertical dimensions too. And again, baseline selected. So now I'll just select the vertical lines. Right click, continue, pull it out this way, click and enter. That's datum. And it's all measured from this point, right? Everything vertical is measured from this line. Everything horizontal is measured from this line. So datum is a really common way to dimension things. That would be an example of datum. In Inventor, we use baseline. Again, I'm going to delete all these and show you chain next. Chain is, is labeled right here, chain. So chain, we can do this way, and it's done the same exact way, but you'll notice the difference. Right click, continue, and I pull them down there. Click, enter. So it has labeled everything in uh, a chain. So that's what this it means in this case is the chain. And again, I can do the vertical dimensions as well. Chain is highlighted. Right-click, continue, and that's done as a chain. So one dimension right after the other. It's also a very uh, common form of dimensioning. If you remember our uh, Project Lead the Way notes, say that that is fine to do it chain that way, but typically what is the preferred standard would look like this. I'm going to chain, start with this one, this one, and this one. Hit OK. Sorry guys, hit chain. This one, this one, and this one. Continue, pull them down here. And then uh, what's very common is then to just dimension. Ah, sorry guys, I forget to keep forgetting to hit enter. Pull them down here, enter. Now it's really common to do that last one like this. So that was method two from our notes, where we don't fill in this one, we get that last one here. And that's a uh, commonly accepted standard for chain as well. So again, you can do datum uh, with baseline, you can do chain with chain. The last thing I wanna do is, let's, how do you do aligned versus unidirectional? So let me take a look here. What does it standard give us? It gives us, kind of too fast here. Uh, by default, it's giving us unidirectional. All of these are horizontal. That's really easy to change the numbering here into a line, and I'm going to show you how to do that. What we want to do is select the dimension, and I'm going to select most by hitting Shift and clicking both. Right-click, New Dimension Style, Text. I'm going to go over to Linear to the far right, and the picture says it all. This one has them uh, printed horizontally. This one has it vertical or aligned. So I'll click that. OK. So there, I've changed it from unidirectional to aligned in that case. Last part of this video is how do we do angles? And that's really simple. We're just going to hit dimension. A couple things, then I want to get an angle maybe between this line and this line. So I'll click on this line. And then I'm going to come over real carefully. Oops, don't want to dimension that line. 
and mouse over and you're going to get this little icon that looks like an angle so I'm going to go ahead and select that and I might pull that out for that angle and again I hit OK the one thing I don't want to do when I'm doing angles is I don't want to select the center points of the, those lines it's going to try to dimension that with a fixed distance so I'm just going to select the lines in general mouse over here there's that angle again and I can measure or dimension with that angle so again hit OK and that's how you can do angles and you can do circles and radii and things like that similarly alright that should get you started the last thing we want to do then is we want to put some sort of an indication of who made this title who made this on there so we're going to put some text drag out a text block I think we're going to probably find 1.25 0.125 is good you're going to put your name uh, in this case I maybe I chose to do chain aligned and angular hit OK and there it is so what you could do then is take a snip of this drawing put it into a document and turn it in as part of your evidence for this more dimensioning 7.1 okay guys go ahead and get to work